Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton with Bike 198, and we're back here with another review today. And what we're actually going to check out and see is that we can replace this with this. So let's get at it. So guys, what exactly are we looking at here? This is the Psych Plus Q. And what it is, is a rechargeable air pump that you can use instead of CO2 cartridges out on the trail, gravel, or road to reinflate your tires when you get a flat. It's USB-C chargeable and it charges to a full charge in only 20 minutes. It has a max pressure of 100 PSI and only weighs 94 grams. So it makes it really easy to pack away in a jersey pocket or hip pack. The brushless motor claims to reach 80 PSI in about 80 seconds, and it has a battery indicator light letting you know how much of a charge you have left. It is also compatible with both Schrader and Presta valves, and comes with a heat resistant silicone case. So guys, before I get into what I actually think about this cube itself, let's take a look at how it actually works. You have your button on top with the LED indicator, and here I've got a flat 2.6 29er tire. Lay it on, press the button, and then press it again. Now we're gonna go ahead and deflate it again and see how far we can get on this single charge on this 2.629er. All right, clock start, let's go again. Now let's go ahead and deflate it one more time and see how far we can get on a third. All right, so it finally went dead and you can tell it's kind of warm. So basically on a tire this size, you can expect anywhere from two to three Phillips on a single charge, which really isn't all that bad. So let's see how it does after it gets fully charged on a gravel tire. All right guys, now we have a fully flat 700 by 38C gravel tire. So let's see how it does on that. All right, so we got about three and a half Phillips on this gravel tire going from completely charged to completely dead. So how did the cube perform? As you can see, it's gonna vary a little bit depending on your situation, what kind of tires you're using. So what I found in my testing is that you get into higher PSI or larger volume tires, it does struggle a little bit. You can actually hear a little bit of the change in tone in the pump. Now this is not surprising given its size. It is a very small little air pump and it tends to heat up when it gets into those higher pressures. That said, it works exactly as it was advertised. I was able to get multiple inflations on different types of tires with this pump under a single charge. Now the motor can be pretty loud, but I'm not really sure that matters if you're stuck on on the side of the trail or the road and you're just trying to fix your flat. And then the overall size and weight was actually about the same as two CO2 cartridges and it was actually easier to pack. You can see in this case that it actually is shorter and takes up less room. So you don't have to worry about the overall size of it when you're actually trying to take it on a road bike or mountain biking ride. So that said, are there any drawbacks with this cube? And first off, you are limited to the amount of times that you can inflate and deflate your tire. So that makes this more of a CO2 replacement for me. And I still will carry a mini pump with me when I go out on the trail or on the road. And then there's the price. This thing is $90. So if you do the math, I can buy 55 cartridges off of Amazon for the price of one pump. Now the form factor, ease of use, and reliability of this thing do add into the overall value of it. So I don't wanna make it a direct comparison because how many times have you been out on the trail and a CO2 cartridge didn't work? So having this as a reliable source to inflate flats does have some value to it, but it does take you a lot of flat tires to break even on the price of this thing. Then the only other downside I can think of with this is it's one more thing that you have to remember to charge before you go out on the trail, whether you have your bike computer, your bike, your watch. So while this does quickly charge in 20 minutes, it is one thing to add to the list to make sure that you have done. So overall guys, what do I think about the Cube? One, it's one of those products I honestly wish I would have thought about myself because it is extremely reliable, easy to pack, and works as advertised. And then I also find this a lot easier to use than CO2 cartridges or sitting there frantically stroking a mini pump trying to get these big tires inflated. So is this more expensive than other options? Yes. But the ease of use and the reliability of getting your tire inflated 
actually makes it quite worth it for me and it's super easy to pack away in my hip pack. But even with this, if I have the room, I will be packing a mini pump as a backup just in case. So guys, I wanna hear what you think. Is this something that you could see yourself getting so that you don't have to use CO2 cartridges anymore? I want to hear what you think down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Bike198 for more reviews like this in the future. And until then, on the next one. Thanks, guys. See ya.